How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Minnesota Heat um, training page. Um, once again, I'm Weeb McDonald. Thank you for tuning in to our first three videos. Josh Pratt had a great video. Um, Josh Presbyterio and myself. We're gonna be back today doing a little more advanced stuff and I got a new model for me. One of my former players, Sam Schwartz. He's from White Bear Lake High School and currently plays for uh, the Southwest Minnesota State Mustangs. We're gonna start off by doing a little ball handling, two ball ball handling stationary drills, and then get into some uh, advanced dribble moves for you guys, for some of the elite athletes out there. And this is all applicable to guys at home. You can do this in your driveway, local park. And uh, let's get it. So the first drill we're gonna do, we're gonna do all stationary drills for this. Um, we want proper footwork, we want a good base, we want a good core uh, for all these drills. And we're gonna stay in the same position. So Sam's gonna demonstrate, he's gonna drop his hips a little bit, he's gonna get knees bent. Okay, the first drill we're gonna do is stationary balls together, shoulder, high and hard. He's really gonna push down, um, get a good pound dribble all the way up to his shoulder. And we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Okay, all these drills will be for about 30 seconds. So it's gonna make you a little tired, but it's gonna warm you up for your shot get a little repetition while uh, you're dribbling that ball. Next drill is gonna be nice and low, knees bent, drop the hips even more, use your fingertips, try to get below your knees. Next one is gonna be shoulder height, pound dribbles high and hard, but they're gonna be alternating. Next one will be uh, alternating, nice and low below your knees, quick. We're gonna get a little more advanced with this next one. We're gonna go side to side, balls together, left, right, left, right, about waist height. Next one, we're gonna do side to side, but we're gonna go opposite. So in, out, in, out. Try not to keep, let those balls hit each other in the middle. We're gonna go front, back, front, back. Really try to get your hands on front and back of that ball. Swing. Last one I say is the easiest one, but it's the hardest. We're gonna go alternating front, back. Try to get a little rhythm. So a lot of coaches and trainers out there are super anti two ball ball handling. You can go back and forth on it. I, you can say that you never dribble two balls in a game. I, I like this as a, as a repetition tool, just to get um, extra dribbles in, um, as a warm up. It doesn't hurt in my belief. I mean, you're never gonna do it in the game, yes. But I think it's just, anytime you can dribble a ball legally, it's gonna be good practice for you no matter what. And to get some tight, he's already out of breath. So the first move we're gonna do, we're, I'm gonna demonstrate, Sam's gonna demonstrate here, full speed, the whole thing. Um, we're gonna do a two dribble into a spin jump shot. He's gonna come from the left wing, so it's gonna be a right hand dribble. He's gonna throw it to himself and do this, so you, can, you guys can do this by yourself at home. And then after that, I'm gonna do a breakdown with footwork and some technique stuff, and then we're gonna go back to doing it holes. We call this whole part whole. Um, so Sam, why don't you go ahead, spin and catch. So for our first breakdown, Sam is gonna start with his back to the basket, okay? He's gonna have his feet like shoulder width apart. Um, so this is the breakdown in the, in the move. This is where he spins away from his defender. Okay, so we he's gonna start facing, the ba or facing away from the basket to simulate that. Okay. From this position, out to his right foot. Okay, and then he's gonna take his left foot and square up to the rim. And as he does this, he's gonna be ready for the shot. So this is gonna be the ending part of the move. And he's gonna do this until he makes about five shots. So he's gonna go one, two, shot, one, two, shot. One more. Our next breakdown, we're gonna add a dribble to that. So he's gonna take a dribble, and then he's gonna pull the ball to his right hip with his right hand into that spin move. So he's gonna dribble, 
pull that ball into that shot. It's gonna apply that dribble from our dribble attack. Go ahead, Sam. Five makes as well. So now we're gonna apply everything together and we're gonna start slow at first. We're gonna start from the wing and we're gonna break down how to do that spin off of a complete move or a dribble attack. When I do that spin, what's important is to take a proper gather dribble and have a, I plant my inside foot or which coming from the right side is gonna be my left foot and establish that base so I can step into my spin. There's a couple key things when I do this. I need to make sure I have good footwork. I have good timing, okay? If I take a small step, that spin isn't efficient. If I pick up my dribble too soon, rest call a travel. So there's a lot of things that come into that. So Sam's gonna start on the wing. He's gonna spin the ball to himself. Okay, and you're gonna see the end part. He's gonna dribble into the move, slow motion. He's gonna take his last dribble as he plants his inside foot or his left foot. And then he's gonna do that down that we just did. So it'll be that right left stop. And you're gonna do this until you get comfortable at it, and you're gonna go at a, at, a, at a leisurely or slow pace because you want the proper technique. Once you get the rhythm, then you can speed it up, then you can start counting your makes. full speed, whole move, uh, game-like situation. Sam's gonna attack from that left wing, two dribbles into that spin. Things to look for, watch his feet. Watch how he plants that left foot and brings that right one around for the shot. As he comes around for his spin, his hips are ready to shoot, his shoulders are ready so he goes straight up. He doesn't fade away, okay? And look how quick he's going, game speed. You wanna practice that so you can do it in a game. If you go half speed in practice, you can go half speed in the game, okay? So a couple notes, take a look. So that's, that's actually one of Sam's best moves. He's really good at doing that spin. It's all about timing. Um, some people take really big steps. Some people take really, really quick steps. It's all to your own, just like your own jump shot. Um, it's a great move to create separation. Um, if you're a bigger player, you can go above that defender. If you're smaller, you can go underneath them. You make it your own. Now we're gonna move on to our next move, which is gonna be a fake spin. So it's gonna be the same approach as the last one, but instead of spinning all the way, we're gonna take a half step to the side and square back up on our inside shoulder. So we're gonna start off with our hole. Sam, why don't you go ahead, spin and catch, two dribbles into that fake spin, jump shot. So just like our spin, our first breakdown will be with his, uh, Sam's gonna have his back to the basket, shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart, sorry. Um, but instead of taking that spin to the right, he's gonna take a fake step to the right. So he's gonna take a step sideways, okay? And he's gonna transfer his weight to that right foot to sell that defense on that spin. Okay, because they think spin, they start cutting him off, and now middle is left wide open for a jump shot. There's a couple of key things when you do this, though. If you take small of a step, the defense doesn't buy the spin and they just stay there. Okay, if you take too big of a step, well now that was a great sell, but you are out of position to make that jump shot. What happens is you start turning around and your foot's off balance and you fade. So it's really important to take a balanced step to the side, transfer your weight, but also be quick and strong enough to turn around for that jump shot. Okay, Sam, give me five makes like that. If you notice, Sam was great at 
stepping, selling that spin, turning around and going straight up for that jump shot. It's really hard to do, but if you do this, boom, it's a great counter for that spin move. Our next step is to add that dribble we did before. So Sam's gonna start with his back to the back. See, he's gonna take that dribble into that fake spin to that jump shot. Go ahead and make five, Sam. Now we're gonna go back to our hole. We're gonna start from the wing, two dribble approach, half speed into that fake spin to make sure we have the proper balance when we come around for that jump shot. Once we get comfortable, we're gonna go into the uh, full speed game like reps. Go ahead, go to the wing, Sam. Spin and catch, two dribbles, fake spin, shot. So now when you get comfortable with that, you can go full speed. We're gonna focus on getting a good step out to the side, okay? Keeping your weight on that right foot, but being balanced to turn around to go straight up on that shot. Let's go full speed, Sam, five makes. Spin a catch, two dribbles, fake spin. Now when you do this, I don't like my kids fading away when they're younger because it's a strength factor and it's hard to do. As you get older, you play at the elite high school level, AU or college level, sometimes you might need to get a shot over a defender. So that's something you can work on as you get older. When you're younger, you wanna make sure you have proper footwork and balance to make sure you can make that shot. Our final move is gonna be a sidestep or you can make this into a step back. I like teaching a side step because it's easier for uh, younger kids to get a little more balance. You get older, you need more separation. You might do a little step back. Right now, we're gonna work on a dribble attack, side step, pull up, jump shot. Some coaches are against this move because it's a little fancy or a little extra, as you may say. I think it's a great tool to create a little separation and if you can be balanced and you're a good shooter, it's great to have and use in a game no matter what level. Okay, so we're gonna start with our hole. Sam's gonna start from the left wing. He's gonna take a dribble in, and on the second dribble, he's gonna plant his left foot, pull the ball to his right hip, into a sidestep jump shot. To break this one down, we're gonna start facing the rim. We're gonna have the ball in the middle of our body. Right. I'm dribbling with my right, right hand to start, so I'm gonna go to my right side. When I do this, I'm gonna drop my hips, I'm gonna take my right foot in the air, I'm gonna stand on my left leg. It's kinda unorthodox, but this is gonna help break down that side step technique. Okay, so I'm gonna lift my right leg up, I'm gonna pull to my right side, I'm gonna explode to my right side, and as I do that, I bring my ball to my right hip. See that, so I'm coming here, I'm gonna pull my right foot out, pull that ball to my right hip. As I do that, I'm gonna go one, bring my left foot into my shooting position, drive up for my shot. So we're gonna stay stationary. One, two, shot. Go ahead, Sam. Next, we're gonna add that stationary dribble into that side step. So I'm gonna take my dribble with my right hand. As I pick it up, I'm lifting up my right leg into that side step shot. Now we're gonna go back to that left wing. We're gonna do half speed side step jump shot. Key things, 
on my second dribble, I'm gonna plant my left foot. I'm gonna get that timing down. Just like in my spin when I pull back, I'm gonna do this one, take that step with my left foot, pull to my right hip for that shot. So instead of pulling back, I'm gonna go to the side. I have to make sure I take a balanced step. If I take too narrow of a step, I don't create separation. If I take too wide for a step, I'm off balance. Okay, so there's a perfect middle of when I plant, and I pull that step, and I turn my body to square up with that basket so I'm not turned, so I don't fade, so I don't twist. It's a lot easier to make that shot. Go ahead, half speed, Sam. Now Sam's gonna go game speed, two dribbles into a sidestep shot. Watch him. He keeps his eyes up on that rim to know where his defender is, to know where he's shooting. He doesn't look down at his feet, positioning on the court or the ball. He keeps his eyes up, he keeps his body balanced, and he explodes into that shot as soon as he picks up that ball. Spin and catch, two dribble sidestep jump shot, Sam. So those are our three moves for today. We have a dribble into a spin for a jump shot, dribble into a fake spin for a jump shot, and dribble into a sidestep for a jump shot. Now we only did attacking from the left wing today for right-handers. Um, left-handers, you can do that from the right wing. Going from the opposite side is the exact same. Same technique, same breakdown drills. The only difference is the ball is coming from a different side for your shooting pocket. And that's just, you gotta work on that. To finish all my lessons, I usually have my students make two free throws in a row. Now this uh, simulates late game situations because when you have a workout or you have practice, you're usually really tired and your legs are a little dead, just like in a game. And it's really important to hit those late game uh, uh, free throw situations because it can make the difference. So Sam here, before we leave, is gonna make two free throws in a row. First try. And then we're gonna head out and I want you guys to go out in your driveway, your local park, staying safe as you do and get buckets. No pressure, buddy.